Hi, I'm Peter Bodo with Nick Baltieri on day four at the U.S. Open. Uh, Nick, tomorrow we have interesting lineup. We have Maria Sharapova playing Flavia Panetta, a tricky Italian player. How do you like Maria's chances? She's been very up and down this year. First of all, Panetta has really slipped. Um, has not been a good year for her, especially the last four or five months. Uh, she's an Italian. She's a fighter, good ground strokes, but I don't think she has enough to beat Maria. Now, let's talk about Maria. Yes, her serve goes off more often than not. However, she still serves out on the second serve rather than pushing it in because in the long run, she's going to come out ahead doing this. Maria plays one way. You hit it hard, I'm going to hit it harder. She stays close to the baseline, takes the ball coming up off the ground, hits it very flat, and she's moving well laterally. I looked at match to go definitely to Maria Sharapova. You know, Nick, you, you've been around with these, you've trained so many of these people. You've seen, you've seen people have troubles with their serves. That you've seen them overcome it, never overcome it. Well, what's the deal with it? Why, why is it so tough for someone like Marie to pull it together and actually get her serve back on track? Well, first of all, most people don't have that operation that she had. Right. That perhaps, not perhaps, but it almost finished to Peter. So when you have that operation in your mind, I'm sure it's always, oh, gee, is it going to happen again? So they've worked on a motion, the toss goes off a little bit, and you know what? I don't think it's going to get any better, any worse. You're going to have to accept those double faults, but when the ball does go in, Peter, she's terrific, and she has a terrific return to serve. So that makes it a little easier, even when she drops serve, because she's such a good returner. Well, when we talk about serve now, there's another, there's another player tomorrow night who's got a pretty good serve going for, for him, in fact, Andy Roddick. He's playing Jack Sock, promising young American who beat Mark Jaquel yesterday in his first ever win at a Grand Slam event. How do you see that confrontation shaping up? Well, first of all, I watched that match. Uh, Stock is cocky. He, he really is. Um, he thinks he can play, and he can play. Good serve, good backhand, moves well. I think the forehand is a little too slappy, a little too much junk on it. Mm -hmm. But he makes up for it by putting his face right in your face. Now, who is he playing? He's playing Andy Roddick. Last night wasn't easy for Andy. Long rallies. And the longer the rally went, Peter, the more Andy, what, dropped back behind the baseline. I think he goes to the slice too much. I don't believe Andy Roddick can get into that second week standing 8 to 10 feet behind the baseline. I really don't. I think he should review a video and just watch himself. Andy, big serve, move in there, catch the defensive return, going up, hit that big forehand, come in. He's a good volleyer, and he's improved his backhand by more of a follow-through and using the left hand so he can actually hit longer rallies in the back of when before he used to be stiff and the ball would go out. Too much slice, too defensive. Andy, get your fanny up to the baseline. Of course, Sock, he's a sarcastic American, but you know what? He's not afraid. So it's going to be interested. The young kid going up against Andy, and Andy doesn't want to go out the first week. That would be disastrous for him. So I look for Andy to come through, but watch out for that young junior. Did you see any confidence issues for Andy yesterday? I, I, I kind of thought that he began to wonder to himself what's happening. And it clearly shows, Peter, that a serve today, just a serve, is not enough. And remember, Peter, when the rest of your game is not going and you begin to lack confidence, your big weapon goes also. Mm -hmm. I think he's got to go out there. I am Andy Roddick. I got a big serve. I got a big forehand. I'm going to stay close to the baseline. I'm going to go for it. If it goes out, it goes out. But get back to being an offensive player. Well, now another guy who's, who's, who's really known more for the return of serve than a serve, another Andy actually is on tomorrow. Andy Murray, Robin Hassa. Andy Murray, clearly everyone's choice is the best player never to have won a slam yet. What do you see in his tournament well, here? Well, first of all, I talked to Andy Murray about 4 o'clock this afternoon. He really is playing well, and he's become a lot more offensive. Forehand is bigger, his backhand is always good. And he's improved his serve, he's not afraid to come in, and he's got great touch. Great touch. Andy Murray can f not fool a lot of people, because we've all been expecting a lot from him. I look for Andy Murray to win tomorrow, but this Hasse, 
I call him Hussy. The kid's got good ground strokes. But when you go up against Andy Murray, the longer the rally goes, you got to favor Andy Murray. Well, that's it for that's it from the U.S. Wait Open. Wait a minute. Wait Whoop. a minute. One second. Nick's got more for us here, folks. My Tommy Haas won the second round today. He beat Fala, and nobody has a prettier backhand than Tommy Haas. Tommy, we're all happy to have you back. Let's get out there for the third round. Thanks, Peter. Boy, I'll second that. that that's Peter Boto with Nick Balteri signing off from, for Tennis.com.